So, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Salman Calheiros. So uh, I am a PhD student at the INF, and the, the co of his work is uh, Augusto uh, Machado. He's my advisor. So, uh, I'd like to talk to you about some of my finds uh, using the data from the Shuba project. So this this work was I write submitted to the atmospheric research, and uh, the main points of my presentation is uh, to determine the water content of precipitate and no precipitate clouds uh, for using passive and uh, active sensors. Further, to characterize the quantities on regionally and uh, by cloud types. So this first the first figure show the geographical position of each site used in this work. Uh, the first one was launch. Was launch. So uh, I have to divide my presentation into two parts. So uh, because when I look into the, the cloud, I'm not partition the liquid water. I just see the liquid water for cloud with that precipitation and clouds with precipitation. So to determine the liquid water for no precipitating clouds we're using the we use in the blood based radiometer and uh, the liquid water quantity and the abatical process for the radio sun. All the, the references is here, uh, solid in 1998 and the same year for in gold at all. So we have used an neural network for each site. Uh, but for defining what's rain, what's no rain, uh, I am using a filter. Uh, the first step is to identify the, the rain. Okay, if we, we have uh, uh, rain weight more than zero, weight than zero. I, I don't use the date of liquid water content 30 minutes before and after. It's, it's a, to avoid the problem with the raindrops and the wet hadom and the other things. So after that, I am the problem of the rain drop in the cloud, I have to use the profile, the reflective profile from the expo, when you have this threshold, all this, all this, uh, this filter is supported by some papers when I found. And uh, okay, in the end we have the no precipitating clouds. So I have to analyze the regional distribution and uh, the liquid water content for clouds in function in relationship with their thickness. So the rain liquid water content uh, was defined just using the the rain weight from the the hydrometers, and uh, I have just using the 0 0.1 millimeters by hour to define what is the uh, rain event. Uh, I am using the the strategy, the Green and Clark, to determine the liquid water content and integrate it in, in, integrate it in a in a profile. So. Uh, just to clarify, I'm using the correct data, the correct data from the radar. Uh, the cold liquid water, sorry. So the cold liquid water content for no precipitating clouds. We have uh, this chart show the relative frequency histogram for all the sites in the sugar campaign. We have the, all these statistical values can be found here in this table. So the green numbers show that when the, the liquid water content for the, from the radar meter is greater than the radar sound approach. So this, when you look at Alcantara and Fortaleza has the liquid water uh, content greater than the adiabatic approach. Against, we found the, the opposite uh, behavior for Valley and the Belen. It's uh, it's it can conclude that the coastal site the coastal sites con contain more liquid water than the clouds with continental sites. So in principle, when you have the the entrainment, uh, I know adiabatical process, the liquid water content tend to decrease, reduce. So. In other way, when you have a microphysical process like a coalescence, a collision, you have a increase in these values. When you look at these results, we can conclude that the, the 
we have uh, we had an important coalescence of micro, of microphysical process in the site close to the the coast, I guess to the sites in the continent. Uh, <coughs> so let's uh, move on to the next result. It's just a, a, a relation between the, the cold thickness. The cold thickness was retrieved using the LIDAR. It's a, a work from the Riyadh Bohayo. I'm sorry, I don't know in <laughs> French. <laughs> so thanks to Riyadh, uh, I'm not the right person to talk about this retrieval. I'm just using the relationship. So this is a, a box plot when you, you can, we can find some relationship. The median tended to increase. So, what's the fine using the practically uh, reflective profile, the VPR. Sorry, reflective profile. Ah, sorry, practically profile of reflective. So, this is uh, an example. This is for Fortaleza. When you have three different systems, here uh, one system, here a strike form system, and here a convective system. So the integration uh, was the base of the cloud defined for the lift condensation level from the radio sonar data to uh, zero, uh, uh, the output to zero to zero kilo, zero degree Celsius minus approximately one, one kilometer. This is the fine wall. Uh, this is a, uh, it's just to avoid the problem with the, with this system, okay? When you have a side form system, you have that bright but It's a, a peak of a reflective. So to avoid this erroneous data, we're just looking for the warm part of the cloud, okay? So, in this case, uh, like to the chart, it's, it's a, a a relative frequency histogram. It's, uh, this is for all the sites. But the, the most important thing is, is in detail. Okay? It's the, the mean variable, the mean values. So if you look at this, this warm part, we can see the Fortaleza and Alcantara has the, 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 the highest values. Okay? In the other side, it's, it's close to Belém. But the, the problem is here, the valley has the, the, the lowest value. So, okay, it's explaining something, okay, this, this part in the, in the Fortaleza, it has more liquid water, okay? In the Alcantara and close to Belém, for, for the part. When we look for the, the, the mixed, the mixed uh, layer, we, we found different results. It's explaining a lot of things, for example. Here, in the valley, we have the, the highest value. Okay. In the glaciate wire was found to the, uh, to the Belém when it's explained what's happened to the cloud. It's this uh, in the freezing level, after the freezing level, we have molecular water uh, uh, in the cooling process in Belém and Vale do Paraíba. Uh, we can conclude we have, when you're looking for the, the colon, the, the most uh, important part is up to the, the zero degree of Belém and the Vale do Paraíba. Against, uh, in Alcântara, in Fortaleza, we have the most important liquid water part in the, in, in below the zero degree. So, we've done the same thing for the Nikolin radar. Uh, when you look at this chart, we have a similar behavior for the distribution. So it's a problem with the rain attenuation. The, <coughs> the next chart, uh, the next slide, I'll show some of example what's happened here. When, uh, uh, this is a uh, convective system in, for, in Fortaleza. This is a profile for both radars in the time. Okay. Here we have the convective system. Here we have the the same cost, the same system, but uh, observed for the microwave radar. Look, there is there is uh, a lot of attenuation here. It's uh, impossible to see what's happened after two kilometers. 
So this is uh, this is going to be the rain rate. Okay. Uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, let me think. What's this retrieval the, the, the liquid water content? Well, uh, okay. Let's do the move. The next one. This is a comparison between the the both uh, radars. Look to the chat. It's the most important. Uh, this this red line shows the the most uh, difference between the convective system. It's, uh, it's a lot of attenuation in the microwave. So, because of that, we need to use the MAI for the next slides. I made a, a, a simple algorithm to define what is convective and start form and warm system. So, uh, just using the, the variation of the reflective, the vertical variation of the reflective to define how much system convective and start form and warm was observed. This is the, 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 the Belen, uh, Belen, Fortaleza, Belen Valley in the country. We have the mean rain rate for each site. So Belen and the valley show the, the, the convective system has the, the highest rain rate and the for warming system Alcantara was observed with the main, the mean, the, the highest value. So this is for the same graph, but uh, for different rain systems, it's warm and start form and convective system. So if you look for warm and start form, it's a uh, very, very close the values, but uh, except to value when you have the lowest value for the warm system, the warm clouds had a great variability. It can be associated with the life cycle. And you have, uh, in this case, when you have more new, cell, new cells in a convective system, it could be observed in, in Valle do Paraíba. The start form were quite similar, except to, to Alcântara. Uh, and, co and convective system as if the, 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 the highest virus. So this is a profile of each, of each classification when you have Fortaleza and Alcântara with the, 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 the highest virus in this warming system. It can be explained when you looking for the drop size, rain drop size and distribution, the, the highest Drops was observed in, 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 Al in Alcântara. Uh, against the, the smallest drop, to, uh, the, the, the mean concentration of the small, smallest drop was observed in a, in, in a more frequency in, a, in, in Vale do Paraíba. In Alcântara, we have uh, an interesting thing is uh, when we're looking for the short form system, uh, this part was very high. So it's probably associated with the warm system with a cap of ice. In the most of the cases, it could be a problem to classify the system. Okay, if you look at the classification, you show a strat form system instead of a warm system. Uh, okay, I'm finishing. <laughs> it's just it's, it's the, the last chart. It's a, a, a when you're looking for this, this graph, you see the the warm part. It's it's very it's very Great in Fortaleza, and the mixed part it's uh, it's high in, it's uh, it's great in in Belém, sorry, in Valley in the glaciated phase it's uh, it's great in in Val in Val do Paraíba. So that's all. It's some my conclusions. No precipitating clouds. The liquid water content for no precipitating clouds was larger in office in the sites in office part of Brazil, close to the coast. Uh, against on, on the other regions. For when it's funny case, we have distinct characteristics, characteristics uh, uh, different profiles and liquid water contents. For the convective system show the highest value for the stratiform and the warm system. And the valley, the, the ice phase is very important for the, the, the rain regions. So, thanks for your patience. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we have time for one question. For Alice. The resolution. Uh, just uh, I, the most of the site is 
the distance is less than 20 kilometers. But I just using the 200 feet, uh, 200 feet meters uh, around the the main site. For example, in Fortaleza, we have the distance was uh, close to 90 kilometers. I'm using when uh, when the Oh, uh, Carl, he has just used the main site. It's the, the PPI behind the main site. Yes. It's not it's, a general. It's, it's over the main. Uh, yes, it's so it's the, 20 the, kilometers, 15 kilometers. Thank you, Alan.